F. Scott Fitzgerald said there are no second acts in American life. But he didn't get a chance, nagged by that shrew Zelda. My name is Hanson, first name Sid. Two weeks ago, I was a successful Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. Oh, Marjorie Cram decided, yes, on collagen, no, on lipo. Veronica Booker wants you to know she loves her new breasts. Living in a great Malibu beach house with an ambitious agent. Ambitious agent. Yellow. That's a double negative. I grew up in Providence, Rhode Island, New England. Pretty. Open Webster's New World College Dictionary, and this is how it's defined. Providence, capital of Rhode Island on Narragansett Bay. Population 161,000. Preparation for the future, divine direction. God only knows it would take my sister's wedding for me to go back home and face my close-knit family. There's Joni. OK, my mother made a career of leaving me out of the loop. She's pregnant. Of course she's pregnant. Why do you think she's getting married? As did my sister Joni. Joni, you're pregnant. You didn't tell me. Of course I told you. <laughs> but not my sweet, sensitive brother Robbie. Oh my god, Joni, you're pregnant. You didn't know either? Get real. It's all Mom's talked about for the last six months. Hey, Pop. And then there's my dad, Dr. Jim Hansen. By trade, he relates better to animals than people. He's a veterinarian. Wiggles says you're feeding her a high-ash diet, Mrs. Bradley. Pretty soon, she's not going to be able to pee. I thought I was back home just for the wedding weekend. Easy in, easy out. That was before my mom collapsed during the ceremony. It's OK, Mom. It'll be OK. She going to be OK, Sid? Dad, get an ambulance. Somebody call 911. Somebody call 911. The wedding weekend became the funeral week. I had to escape back to my life in LA. Rooms one, two, and three are full. Craig Chadway called. He's concerned about his upcoming penal implant. Natasha but I soon realized, even though LA is where I lived, it wasn't my home. It hit me hard. I realized you can never escape where you're from. And this time, I came home with my tail between my legs. Just in time for a miracle. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the opportunity to redirect my career into family practice. Maybe uh, you'd like to come work at the clinic. That'd be great. It's not glamorous, but <laughs> you practice medicine. So could you. And most importantly, to reintroduce myself to my father. So here I am, hoping for a chance at a second act, the one F. Scott never got. Back where I never thought I'd be, Providence, my hometown, and God's will. I'm starting to believe. All around me are all of your hearts. I still don't know how you got me through the bad parts. And then you tell me that even angels fall. Sometimes when it's quiet, And shine. Time to face your brand new life. Mom? In the flash. But you're dead. No thanks to you, dear. I tried to save you. Four years of medical school, six years of residency, and all I ask is just once you jumpstart my heart. What a waste of an overpriced education. Well, I'm sorry. Now I'm stuck wearing this damn dress for eternity. <sighs> Mother, are you ever gonna quit smoking? Well, it can't kill me twice. 
FYI, oh. for my afterlife, they sent me to hell. Mom. Providence. And since you decided to stay, congrats, kiddo. I'm all yours. Thanks. Now what? I gotta get ready for work. It's my first day at St. Clair's Clinic. Nervous? A little. I'm sure you'll do fine, dear. As long as you don't have to save someone's life. Mother. But enough about you. Joni's baby could use her own nursery. Blow up Robbie's old room. And a real name wouldn't hurt the kid either. Something no nonsense, something respectable like Linda. That's your name, Mom. Let me tell you about childbirth, Sid. Oh, please don't. The pain and confusion never end. Your sister's caught in a postpartum firestorm. Help her through the christening. Joni will do fine. Oh, good luck. She can barely separate the laundry. You should have saved me, Sid. Sid, you up? Morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Weird dream. Me? I never remember my dreams. Except for this one where I was eating this 10-pound marshmallow. When you woke up in the morning, your pillow was gone. Very funny, Joni. What? You've had that one, too? Uh. Hey, the torchlight. Who are you checking out? Oh, give me that. Oh, very cute. Kyle Moran. He still lives here, you know. I see him around town all the time. Hey, do you mind watching the baby while I take a quick shower? Yeah, take your time. Thanks. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Did Mommy and Daddy pick a name out for you yet? Why am I getting all this pressure about naming the baby? Well, maybe because everybody's tired of calling her the baby. Whatever. Where's Dad? With his furry friends in the basement. Ooh. And Robbie? Where do you think? Memorizing the sports page, waiting for breakfast to be served on the Lido deck. Sid, we're at a cranberry juice. Good morning, Robbie. Sid, my liver aches for cranberry juice. Oh, things have changed. Mom's gone, and food does not spontaneously generate in the fridge. Bummer. You know, I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we write down all the things we need, and we could call it a shopping list. OK, you mind writing down cranberry juice? Sure. Now you take the baby. How come? Do I have to? Yes. What, she's going to puke? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know, we really have to buy her a christening gift. Great. I'll talk to Dad while I'll go in on it. It's fine. 50-50. You 50, Dad 50. Now, I was actually thinking along the lines of uh, turning your old bedroom into a nursery. <laughs> no way. Why not? You don't even live here anymore, Robbie. So what? It's still my room. All my stuff's in there. What about your room? I don't have a room, remember? Mom turned it into an office when I moved to L.A. So we'll turn it into a nursery. Then I'd have to sleep in your room. Cool. <laughs> You're sick, Robbie. Hi. Hi. We're here to pick up our Dalmatian? Clinic's in the basement next door over. Thanks. Any gel left? No, you mind making a fresh pot? For you, I do. Hope she didn't catch anything. Oh, you're such a trip, Joni. I'm serious. I think you're diseased. If you need me, I'll be down in the doggy dungeon. Bye-bye. You know, she doesn't like to show it on the surface, but I think deep down inside, Joni really hates me. <sighs> well, I'm out of here. Wish me luck. First day on the job at the clinic. Yep, try not to kill anyone. Looks bad on your record. <laughs> Luttrell! Luttrell! <laughs> If you choke PJ again, it will be your last day on Earth. Doctor? Helen. Hi. Ah, Sid Hansen. Meet Harpswood Elementary. Their parents can't afford basic medical care. We're trying to give each kid a physical, bring their inoculations up to date. I haven't given shots to kids since med school. <laughs> OK, Luttrell. Time to set an example for the others. Firm and fast. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. See one do one do 20. Great. <laughs> Mary Connerly. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't stop the bleeding. Otherwise, I would have stayed home. What happened? Like the old story goes, I walked into a door. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Let me have a look here. Oh, we're going to need some stitches. Here, just apply pressure. Why don't you come with me? All right. You all right? Don't worry. It don't have to be perfect. I don't mind another scar. Oh, today's your lucky day. I'm a plastic surgeon. Oh, well, as long as I'm here, feel free to suck out the bags from under my eyes, will you? It says that you broke a couple of ribs two weeks ago. Mind if I have a look? Oh, they're fine, thanks. You sure about that? You can have a seat. 
says here that you broke them uh, walking into a door. Make a habit of walking into doors? Well, you didn't hear what I said? They're fine. Good. So, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? I live alone with my daughter. This might hurt a little bit. Oh, damn right it hurts. Mary, if you're in an abusive relationship, I can... Just fix this and I'm gone. There's nobody beating on me, okay? Okay. What a cute baby. Thank you. What's his name? He's a she, Mrs. O'Meara, and I haven't decided yet. You should name her after your dear departed mother. And you should have a seat. Dad'll be right with you. Come on, baby. Hey, you have a neutering and a teeth cleaning at 10. I squeezed in Mrs. O'Meara because she's complaining about hairballs, or at least her tabby Murray is. And I'm paying the electric bill. My granddaughter looks comfy. At least one of us is. She kept me up all night last night. Here, I need you to sign these checks. Later. Later means we're working by flashlight. Okay, Miss Samira, let's take a look at Murray. Oh, he's lost. Oh, joy. I let him out of his carrier. He gets claustrophobic. Well, can you blame him? Don't worry about it. He'll turn up. I'm so sorry about dear Linda. Thank you, Miss Samira. Joni says she's naming the baby after her mother. I never said That's that. very thoughtful, Joni. <gasps> hey, Murr. God, I hate cats. It's unsettling when they spook you like that. No, I mean I really hate cats. Uh, Joni. Don't even get me started on dogs. Uh, how about taking care of these checks? Thank you. Uh, Ms. Amira, you said hairballs. She went back home, right back into whatever the hell's happening. I said it's a no-brainer. If she's a repeater with signs of physical abuse, battered woman, call social services, game over, the end. And how long does that take? A day, a week, what? Depends upon how busy they are. Well, this can't wait. Look around. It's a numbers game. We serve the community by keeping our doors open, letting them come to us. Oh, wait a minute. What if a woman can't come to us because she's afraid for her life? Social service goes to them. Am I required to stay here during my lunch break? You have an hour. Thank you. You forgot your prescription for pain meds at the clinic. I thought I'd fill it and bring it over. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Now, get out. What's going on, Mary? Nothing I can't handle. Look, whatever's happening, you can't stay here. It's not safe. I said get out. Is this your daughter? Yeah. Pack your bags. We're getting out of here right now. I like your glass. What's your name, huh? Okay. Mary. I said it's time for you to leave. Mary. Wait a minute. Mm. Zoe, we do not throw things. Do you hear me? I want to help. Get out. Zoe, look at me. Mary, stop. What did you say to me? I said that she clearly does not understand you should stop. Don't tell me how to handle my daughter. She needs help. Oh, really? You think so? Well, what would you suggest? A little speech therapy? 
little behavior modification. You're looking at a seven-year veteran. Five hours a day, five days a week. And what have I got to show for it? Bunch of cash checks. Well, there must be other options. Oh, you doctors, you crack me up. With all your brains, and you can't figure out how hers works. Why don't you go back to your happy, normal life? Look, I'm sorry about your daughter, but that does not give you the right to be a jerk to the rest of the world. The day she was born was the happiest day of my life. I wanted to be a mother for as long as I can remember. Her first words, you know what they were? Love you. Because I said it to her so many times in that crib. Two, she stopped talking. She lost all the words. I lost my husband. Yeah, he bailed big time. Sounds like Zoe's autistic. I hate that word. Mary, can I take Zoe today? There's a doctor I want her to see. I think he can help. No, I can't pay for that. It's OK. You don't have to. Okay, a couple more questions and we'll be up to date, Mr. Moran. You know, I'm not really sure what this all has to do with my dog's medical history, and uh, call me Kyle. Blame it on our new computer program. You know, privacy just flies out the window. Let's see. Are you married, Kyle? Someday, I just haven't met the right woman. Ah, uh, you've met her. Excuse me? Your dog will be feeling better. You know, I don't mean to be a pain, but when can I see Doc Hanson? Uh, Dad's at lunch, but he'll be back like a he split. Um, have a seat. I guess I can wait. Okay. One more question. Shoot. What's your dog's annual income? Hey. Hey, your sandwich okay, Dad? Mm. Nope. Neil's been making the best Vermont grilled cheddar cheese since before when. Yeah? You gotta try the burgers. They got this new one. It's called the Mo Vaughn. It's really thick. It's got mo meat, mo onions. Oh, God, me, my boy, I don't eat meat. I haven't for years. Really? Hopeful. I never really noticed. Hey, Sheila? Coming up. Well, this new manager's position seems to be right up your alley. Yeah. Well, I figure, hey, I spent so much time hanging out and eating here, I might as well get paid for it, right? <laughs> Thanks. Listen, Sid and I were thinking of maybe turning our old room into a nursery as a christening gift. Your mom's office? Yeah, you know, we'll strip it down, we'll prime it, we'll paint it, and, you know, we'll all go in together. I could probably do it for three bills. It'll cover supplies and workers, but it'd be a home run for five. What do you say? Um, I say knock it out of the park. You're the man. No, no, lunch is on me. Thank you. I'll see you back at the ranch. Yep. This is my house, Zoe. This is where I grew up. Want to see some pictures of my family? Huh? This skinny guy is my little brother, Robbie. Well, he's not so little anymore. This is my sister, Joni, who just had a baby. And this is my dad, Jim. The one I told you about, who has all the doggies and cats downstairs. And this is my mommy. Her name's Linda. She's not alive anymore, and I miss her very much. I don't know where the confusion started, but Tinker doesn't need a distemper shot for another eight months. Really? Zoe, I can't wait for you to see all the animals. Sid! Kyle, what are you doing here? Uh, Tinker was called in for a shot, but there must have been some scheduling glitch. I just do what it tells me, I bet. You two know each other? High school. High, high school, yeah. 
Is this the Kyle you used to moon over? Daddy, um, this, this is Zoe, the little girl I told you about. Hi, Zoe. I'm Dr. Hansen. I'm a doggy doctor. Would you like to meet some of my friends? Sure. Come on. Sid, I didn't realize you mooned in high school. Tony, would you have a cat to declaw? Mm -mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. There we go. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> well, welcome home again. Thanks. I guess I never put it together that Doc Hansen's your dad. He's, uh, he's the best. Thanks. I'm saying thanks a lot. <laughs> Didn't notice. Listen, do you, uh, do you want to maybe get some lunch tomorrow? I eat lunch. I mean, I'd, I'd love to. We can grab a bite down at the water park around noon? Sounds great. Great. I'll see you then. Come on, Tinker. I hate you. You're welcome. Puppy, this is Zoe. Zoe, this puppy is a stray and doesn't have a name. Shall we give her a name? Everything in time. Here, feel how soft her fur is. Fur. It even sounds soft, doesn't it? Mm. Okay. It's enough for one day. How are we doing? We're doing okay. <laughs> Maybe better than okay. Not common. Mary, we've made a breakthrough. Social services call me. What? Oh, yeah. They're coming to do a home evaluation. What? See if I'm qualified, take care of my own daughter. What's that thing doing here? Zoe made a new friend. You bought a dog for Zoe? You don't ask me? She responds to her. I don't got time to take care of no dog. My dad's a vet. We thought that the dog could serve as a therapeutic companion. Where's my companion, huh? When's the last time I went out to dinner? To the movies? When I got pregnant, my friend says to me, what you want to have, a boy or a girl? I said, whatever God give me, as long as they're healthy. Well, what are you doing when it's not healthy? <coughs> you shut up, dog! <coughs> Zoe? Zoe, get that thing out of here. Zoe! No, get that dog and go. Listen to me, Mary. You doctors do not get it. You're all holding out with hope. Well, I can't do it anymore. I get the rules. What rules? Rule number one, there is no cure. Hi, I'm Alex Mendoza, Providence Social Services. I'm Dr. Sydney Hansen. I'll, I'll handle this myself. No, no, I called you earlier today. I was wrong. This is not a battered wife case. I see. Please come in. Welcome to my beautiful home. to this all day. Baby's first bath. <gasps> Is her belly button all healed? Clean as a whistle. <coughs> you embarrassed me pretty good today with Kyle, thank you. Oh, it was cute. <laughs> He's cute. I'd appreciate it if you didn't pry into my uh, personal life. Water's kind of cold. This is from the woman who had her hand at my hoo-hoo while delivering a baby. The water's fine. All set on the christening? Easy pie. Just the immediate family. Plus Richie, if he knows what's good for him. Have you heard from your fisherman? Oh, I've left some messages. Not even a, hey. <laughs> Still out to sea. You know, Joni, if you named the baby Linda, I think it would mean a lot to Dad. Oh, he couldn't care less. Time to get wet, honey bunny. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, it would mean a lot to me. Someone called here for you. Alex, somebody or something? Mendoza, uh, social services. Oh, you already got it. Um, no, what? Oh, I guess that um, girl Zoe is being sent to some state-run place in Warwick. The mother gave permission. He says he's gonna talk to you about it tomorrow morning. Why didn't you tell me about this when I first walked in? I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't you ask? Support her neck, Joni. What do you think I'm trying to do, drown her? She's cold. She's just right. She's cold. Now you can read my baby's mind. What can't you do, Sid? Have a civil conversation with my sister. You know what? I'd prefer to do this myself. Fine. Expecting Donna Reed? Oh, go away. I was in the middle of a great dream. You better start facing reality, Sid. Stop living in a high school fantasy. Kyle is none of your business, Mother. Of course he is, dear. Everything you do is my concern. Now, about the christening. I'll be there. I'll take care of Joni. You are a dreamer. What are you going to do about Zoe? Oh, I screwed up. I should have never called social services. You're a doctor. Make it better. How can I be in two places at once, Mom? Imagine how I feel. I gotta get some sleep. You already are asleep, dear. You decent in there? Robbie? I'm sorry to bust in on you like this, but I only got these guys today to prep and paint. Yeah, Adoka, just give me a minute. This is the place, boys. Buff it out. I said okay. give me a minute. Excuse me, Robbie. Smell like liquor. Yeah, well, they should. They've been drinking all night. Robbie. <laughs> what? It's cheap labor. They're working off a big time bar bill. Which reminds me, O'Neill's is going public. Now, as a manager, I can get an equity position in a limited partnership. I just need a little cash. Robbie. What? I'll see you at the christening. I've forgotten how great a brain freeze feels. Been drinking Dells my whole life. Makes me feel like a kid. Sometimes I think there's no future in growing up. Doctor taking care of people, what's more important than that? I used to think nothing. What happened? A patient I just had, mother of a disabled child. She didn't want my help. Too bad. Hey, Miss Ellie. Richard Stein said there's no there there. Is she in our homeroom? <laughs> no. My brother Glenn, he had cerebral palsy. I didn't know you had a brother. My mom described raising him like this. When you're having a baby, it's like planning a vacation to... Disneyland? So you buy your ticket to sunny Los Angeles, but when the plane lands, the stewardess says, welcome to Providence. Uh, well, there are worse places. Exactly, it's just different. Less glitz, slower paced. And hopefully, after a while, you recognize how special Providence is, too. But there's still some people who miss not being out there with Mickey and Donald, and their whole lives are thinking, what if? This mother is so angry. Uh, losing that dream hurts. But if she's going to spend all her days mourning for her life, she's never going to learn and enjoy what her Providence has to offer. Ah. Uh, I got an airport pickup. Oh, I gotta make it to my niece's christening. But they're sending that little girl away today, and I'd like to speak to the mother again. I gotta pick up a dog. I'd give you a lift, but... You've got the airport pickup. Yeah, let him wait. Thanks. I am so sorry about the delay, Father. Good things happen to those who wait. Oh, yeah, great things. My baby just blew lunch all over me. Are we expecting any uh, family members for the ceremony? Uh, of course we are, Father. Dad! Robbie, move it! Hey. 
Hey, my ass, where the hell have you been? This is the uh, baby's father, father. Uh, yes, the uh, fisherman. Hey. Where the hell is everybody? What? It's not like you haven't heard the word before. Oh, sorry. Sure. Sorry. Yeah, I bet. Where's Sid? Missing in action. She talks a good game, but when push comes to shove. Okay, Padre, showtime. Um, just one little thing before we begin. What? The baby. Why do I have to remember everything? I think you're gonna really like Warwick. It's a home and a school, Zoe, and it's only a couple miles away. Mary. I came to say goodbye. You can't change my mind. I thought about it, and you're right. Good. So we all agree this is what's best for Zoe. No, we don't. The rules, Mary, you're right. There is no cure. But that doesn't mean you give up. There's a little girl trapped in there. I know it. Don't do this to me. Come on, Zoe, let's get in the car. <laughs> Sanctify this water to the mystical washing away of sin. Grant that this child, now to be baptized, may receive the fullness of thy grace and remain forever in thy faithful fold. Amen. Name this child. Dad! Where the hell have you been? There, there's been a car accident. Zoe's dog is in really bad shape. I need your help. I'm sorry. Will you excuse me? Can I go now? You stay put. We are not. I repeat, not starting over. Then name the child. Hannah Hansen. Huh? You should have called. I baptize thee, Hannah Hansen, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Fracture of the radius. Oh. I can set that. She's complaining about tenderness in the rib cage. Another fracture? Maybe. Maybe a punctured lung. What can I do? We'll have to get another x-ray. We'll see if there's any sign of fluid in the lung. That a girl. That a girl. So? You did this? You think that pink's too. Pink? Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's just right. So you like it? I can't, can't believe you did this for me. Oh, I didn't do it for you. I did it for Hannah Banana. Besides, there's no way that my room's gonna get puked on, peed on, pooped on. By anyone but you. Exactly. Can you keep a secret? No. I swear I um did the dance for the first time. What dance? You know. You lost your virginity in our house? If mom was alive, this would kill her. Who was she? I swear to God, Joni, if you tell anyone. Cross my heart. Gina Gazetta. Ugh, you and everybody else. Now I feel special. I uh, lost my virginity in the house, too. You're kidding. Mike Van Adams. Wasn't he gay? Not that night he wasn't. Where'd you do it? Our secret. Scout's honor. Your room. Mary, this is my father. How do you do? 
Zoe. Here's your friend. Now, I'll take care of her until she's all better, but then, as far as I'm concerned, she's all yours. Oh, no, I don't know about that. Well, of course, that's up to you, but I think she'd be in good hands. Come on, Zoe, it's time to go. Uh. Hey, Zoe. I know you can hear me. I know it's hard, but you can talk to us. Come on, honey. You can either stay trapped in your own world alone or try to be a part of ours. You can talk, I know it. You can say, hello, goodbye, I'm scared. And we'll listen, I promise. Doggy. <laughs> yeah. You want to give the doggy a name? Ninda. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Love you. Love you. I'm afraid there are no pets allowed at Warwick. Yeah, well, that don't matter. She ain't going there. Excuse me? Yeah, you're excused. She coming home with me. Okay. I'll be in touch. Bride and groom? Yeah, I'm picking him up in an hour. Your dad thought I might find you here. Hop in. No, thanks. I'd rather walk. Clears my mind. Mind if I clear with you? Not at all. Come on. This is my favorite time of year. Me too. Especially the street. It's a little out of the way, but it's my walking to elementary school route. Totally worth it. So how'd it go? I finally got through to her. Congratulations. Thanks to you. I go with those thanks again. Sid, um, how about dinner this weekend? Yeah, my treat. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so is it hard to drive a limo? No. Want to give it a spin? Only if you sit in the back seat. Love to. Dad? Dad? Sid. Oh, God, I was reading. Hmm. Quite a day today, huh? Quite a day. <laughs> Hannah Hanson. That's a nice ring to it. Yeah, it does. Are you coming upstairs? I think I'll just catnap for a while. Okay. I'll get the lights. Good night. Right. You did good today, Dr. Hanson. We did good today, Dad. the regret. Oh, fed and burped. She's in the nursery down for the count. I'm sorry about the christening. Yeah, 
It's no big deal. The Hansons never stood for ceremony. So, why the name Hannah? You don't like the name? No, I think it's sweet. I just thought it was important that her name spell the same backwards and forwards. So if you had a boy, you could have named him Otto. Yeah, if I wanted him to get his butt kicked at recess every day. No. If it was a boy, I would have named him James after Dad. You get some rest, kiddo. I'll take the first shift. I'm glad you're home, Sid. Me too. So what kind of name is Hannah? A perfect one. Oh. Put out the cigarette, Mom. Don't treat me like I don't exist. Mom, you're dead. Sid, death ends a life, but it doesn't end a relationship. Who said that? I did. <laughs> She's beautiful, isn't she? All babies are beautiful when they're sleeping. Mother. Not my taste. <sighs> Too pink. Robbie stepped up big time. Yes, he did. And Joni's turning out to be a good mom. Yeah, she is. And your father is your father. He's staying downstairs out of habit. Always hated getting into bed with me. Can we leave this on a need-to-know basis, please? And you've got the hots for a chauffeur. Mom. Pool man wasn't available. Mother. Hi, Hannah. Oopsie daisy. I never was really good with children. You were terrific. Liar. I miss you, Mom. Of course you do, dear. I wouldn't have it any other way. Take care of my family, Sid. Where are you going? Out for a smoke. You'll be back? Sid, darling, you can't do this alone.